Hi guys, so today is Friday, November the 14th, and it is very, very cold. It's 15 degrees, um, but I'm all bundled up. I'm about to go into the gym and get on the scale. I do expect a loss. I worked out really, really good this week. Yesterday, I kind of actually got sick. Um, so today is going to be a complete rest day for me. So I am expecting a weight loss. My workouts have just gone to an all-time epic high for me. I have never in my life worked out as hard as I'm working out. Now, by no means do I plan on or even anticipate um, maintaining this level of um, activity. But I do plan on continuing to eat really, really good all through the holidays and do my best because it's starting to get super cold, which, you know, when it's cold, you don't want to go out and to go to the gym and all of that. So I'm going to just do my best and see what happens. If I fall off, I just fall off. I do get, you know, people that say they've fallen off. I understand it. You just lose motivation for whatever reason. And I think the cold... <laughs> I think the cold might be the reason I fall off, but we'll see. I'm so addicted right now. I did order a new, uh, it's called an Urban Rebound. It's like a mini trampoline, and you can really get a good workout. I've been watching videos, so that will allow me to be able to get some exercise at home. I'm waiting for that to arrive. I definitely will show you guys that. So stay tuned. Um, yeah, I'm expecting a weight loss, even though, you know, I got sick yesterday, like really, 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 really sick, like a 24-hour bug. So without going into any details, I might have just lost weight from that, some water weight. Um, but before that, I worked out so hard this week, and I ate really, really good. I'm not cheating. Um, today's my cheat day, actually, which I don't even feel like going out. I still feel kind of, you know... I don't even feel like going out. Definitely not feel like having a drink. So let's go in the gym, get on the scale, and see what happened. Can y'all see that? 170.2.4. Okay, you guys, so when I wasn't holding the camera, it was 170 even. In fact, I saw 169. I was like, I got all excited, but it was teetering back and forth, and it ended up at 170.0. And so my ending weight for October was 177.4. Last week, November 7th, I weighed in at 173 point something. I didn't record it. 173 point something. Now I'm at 170 even. So I'm averaging almost three pounds a week for this month so far and yeah I did get sick yesterday so I don't know how much water weight I lost but I'm not gonna take away from the fact that I was working out like a beast and I wasn't cheating when I was eating I ate I've been eating right so I don't have no cheat days to report or anything like that in fact today is my cheat day and I don't even really feel like eating today so we'll see but I'm gonna go make myself rest today and um, do absolutely nothing in terms of working out and I'm two pounds away from my goal weight I cannot believe that I'm so so excited anyway once my rebounder come I'm expecting it today and I'll use it for a couple days um, and then I'll come back with a, a mini review all right guys see ya Hi guys, so I am headed to the gym. Today is, um, what's today's date? November the 22nd, Saturday. So the Saturday before Thanksgiving. So let me just tell you what happened. What had happened was, so I did, after I got to 170, later that week, I did reach my goal of 168, but that was because I, was, I wasn't I was feeling good. That day I wasn't feeling good, I ended up not feeling good for like four days. Just sick. So, I lost two more pounds. I reached my goal, and then I started feeling better. Then my rebounder came, so I started working out on that. Build muscle on my leg. Woo, that's a good leg workout. It's really an upper body workout, but you're, you're using your leg. It's weird, but 
it's a full body workout I should say but my legs yeah I would they were sore for a couple days so I built muscle so yesterday when I got on the scale I didn't have my camera the battery was dead I gained five pounds so I went from 168 to 173 and I think it was 160 168.6 is what it was um, to 173.6 so that is my ending weight 173.6 so I don't think I'm gonna get on the scale anymore until Friday or Saturday after Thanksgiving so a week from today I just wanted to give you that update but I will be back to show you my rebounder I just have it upstairs in like this spare room it's like a sitting room but it doesn't get used it's part of the attic um so that's just where I'm working out at right now but I think I'm gonna make that a project and turn it into an exercise room some kind of way paint the walls put up some mirrors and get some more little hand weight that hand weight rack and make it really look like a uh, workout room so that's gonna be my project I think me and hubby's project this spring I just got to get my ideas together for that room so just beware it's just like a room with storage it ain't nothing cute but I'm gonna show y'all because <laughs> I want to show you the bouncer um and that's it I'm gonna go thrifting first and then go work out and I'm not gonna get on the scale so I won't even show y'all that but that's my that's my latest update and when I see y'all again it will be after Thanksgiving so I hope you all had a great um, Thanksgiving and happy holidays the holidays are amongst us all right guys I'll see y'all next week okay see that so Today is Saturday, the 28th, I believe. I still may wait tomorrow since it's the very last day, but I'm at 175.6, so down a little bit. I'm, I'm getting so confused with my weight this month, but um, I think over I'm down two pounds from last month, but I'm up. Because I had gotten all the way down to 170, really 168. But you guys saw 170. I'm not happy with that. And I'm not doing anything wrong. So it's definitely muscle. But anywho, I'm going to go work out. And maybe I'll see you guys tomorrow. Or maybe this is it. Okay, hi guys. So today is Sunday. This is the last day of the month. I'm going to go ahead and go with that um, weight 175.6 I believe it was so that's just a two pound weight loss for the month of November so I ended up losing like seven pounds and then gaining five of it back I guess something like that so only a two pound weight loss for the month I really do think a lot of it came from my bouncer and I'm up in my attic now and I'm gonna show you guys the bouncer and uh, I love watching um, Family Feud when they have the marathons of Family Feud, I'll just bounce to like for like an hour, hour and a half, something like that, or even longer sometimes. And it is a lot of fun. So I'm gonna show you. It's kind of dark up here. And then um, once Hubby gets home, I'll have him um, record me bouncing. So there's my bouncer, and it's just called the Urban Rebounder. And I just watch Family Feud. And I just sit here and bounce and just bounce 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 so this bouncer and you guys are going to hear in a second um, it's noisy so it has like springs in it and the springs are kind of noisy it's called the urban rebounder and I'll have the link but this has been a saving grace for me when I don't get to go to the gym and I still want to work out I burn tons of calories on this thing and I'll just show you I used to um I used to like follow um, some of the workouts on YouTube 
which are really, really good. But I find that I just like watching um, a program on TV, usually Family Feud, and uh, just do different moves on it while I bounce. I can jog in place. I can do sprints. I can do squats. I'll show you guys all of that in a second. I get a really, really good workout. So I think this is Hubby just pulling up. I'll see if he wants to record me. I'll be back. Okay. So this is basically what I do. I just sit here and bounce. And I can do a lot of moves on it. So I can do twists, which kind of gets this area right in here. So I'll do that sometimes so I get tired. I can do whatever this is called to get that back leg. Whoa. And this is what I use to hold on if I feel like I'm falling. It does have a bar on it, but I usually don't need that. This is a squat. I do a series of squats. I'll sprint. High knees. All of this while watching TV. And it has a spring in it. The springs kind of make noise. But they have different kinds. Like the Bellicon is the highest, it's the most expensive that don't have springs and they don't make noise. But those are like 300 bucks. So I opted kind of for one that's in the middle it was 139 which I didn't think was too bad you can get some that are like 40 bucks at Walmart but those hurt your feet so I've been told so does it hurt my feet you can do it with shoes or without shoes I like without shoes and as you can see I get very winded and so it's a challenge it looks easy it looks fun it is fun but it is a challenge when I get tired I'll just slow it down and jog in place or I can sit here and just bounce. A lot of great benefits. I have the link below. Check it out. All right, guys. See you in my next video.